Non. Vous êtes sérieux? Vous êtes sérieux? Yo, vous faites quoi? Uh, they really scared me seriously and uh, I didn't want it to talk about it. But then with everything that's happening in the world and I, I told myself it was the time to talk about it and to show it to people that it's still happening everywhere, even in Montreal. In a City News exclusive, a young black Montreal man is coming forward about an alleged encounter he had with police back in April. One he caught on camera. Lois Chattel says police came to his downtown apartment citing a noise complaint and things turned violent. <laughs> They were like, oh, we need to go in to see like what's happening. So I was like, okay, you know what? Just come in because I have nothing to hide. Tu veux rentrer? Oui. Ouais. Oh. Three police officers went inside. Lois says it was just him and his girlfriend. And then they wanted my ID, and I said, okay, I'll give you my ID, but just get out of the house. And uh, they said no, and I said, can you get out, please? Uh, they just jumped on me, and uh, they told me I was under arrest. They jumped on me, they put me on the floor, and they... Uh, and cough me. And Lois ended up with a head injury, a swollen lip, and a bloody floor. Plus, he claims threats from officers that he'd be taken to court for fighting them. They should stop right there. You know, he has the right to be there. There's no noise. Thank you. Go home. You know, and that should be the situation. And that's what we see with other people. So then keeps on coming. He's like, okay, come in, come and see. That's a huge mistake. You never do that because if you let the police in, of course, you know, there's a risk. Well, police officers can only enter a house under special circumstances when they have a warrant. Um, when there's a pursuit, but that is something else, or when they are invited. He was trying to show good faith by letting them in. You know, he was trying to collaborate. When a police comes into the home, uh, there are certain, at least we call it, courtesy gesture they have to uh, follow and there's certain legal procedure they have to follow and one of the things we see in here basically there seems to be no courtesy we have to wait to see if he's going to be charged see what are the options to maybe sue the city of montreal because this is really problematic so far no complaints have been filed with the police ethics commission something anyone can do not just the victims we contacted montreal police and they tell us they can't comment on specific files but say that any citizen who wishes to file a complaint can do so online deontologie-policière.gouv.qc.ca slash commissaire referring to lois's specific video that city news alerted the police to they say the video will be sent to the manager for appropriate files Follow up. Find ways in order to make um, both the homeowner and the police officer understand that there are better ways to handle this because we see it time and time again. I, well, I wish the police could just like cooperate with us because we do cooperate with them. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.